This video is about the 330 watt solar panel, the 12 volt charging system, an inverter, and the 12 volt 240 amp hour lithium phosphate battery I installed for my shed so that I do not have to depend on network grid um, to operate lights and uh, equipment. This is a uh, simple electrical network diagram of the uh, 12 volt solar charging battery system that I have. Uh, it is presently installed in my shed, but I have designed the system so that it can be easily removed in 10 minutes and disengage from the solar panel and the battery so that the charging system can be carried to my four-wheel drive utility truck and uh, placed in the back of the, the tray. Uh, similarly, the battery can be carried to the truck and uh, reconnected to the um, charging system. So let's make a start um, to understand the, the system. Let's start with the uh, solar panel. So there is a one solar panel made by the company Tyndall Solar based in Adelaide. The model is Kara 330P. Uh, it's a 330 watt panel. Has open circuit voltage of 40.93 volts. Short circuit current 10.35 amps. Efficiency of 19.8%. Uh, maximum power output of 330 watts and uh, internal bypass diode. The size is 1005mm by 1676mm. I connect this panel to the uh, charging system uh, via Anderson SB50 plug connectors. The cable is uh, PV1-F 6mm squared solar cable and um, there is an MC 415 amp inline fuse installed here. So you can see this can be easily disconnected. The charging system. It is a system made by the company Enerdrive in, in Australia. The particular canopy system is called Adventurer. The components uh, it comprises there is a Enerdrive EN31240 um, e-power AC to 12 volt charger. There is also an EN3DC40 plus DC to DC battery charger. There is a EN1120X inverter which has an AC transfer switch and an RCD switch as well. There is a ePro Plus battery monitor connected to the negative uh, where the shunt is located to measure current uh, draw. Inbuilt in the system, there are two USB sockets and one merit socket for driving load devices. The canopy system is connected to a Kelp 12 volt 240 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery um, via double zero battery start cables. Um, it is plugged and plugged via Anderson SB350 connectors, and there is an inline 250 amp resettable circuit breaker. From an output point of view, there are circuit breakers. Um, built into the uh, canopy system and uh, what I've done is um, create a, a six SB50 Anderson plugs on the side of the canopy and each of them is connected by six mil automotive cables. Uh, this allows me to plug any loads I want um, to this um, system via Anderson SB50 connectors. There is also a connector, another SB50 connector, which allows me to connect um, the car start battery to this. Um, built into the canopy system, um, in addition to the uh, dual USB sockets and merit plug, I've added externally 
um, dual USB socket as well as a cigarette and merit socket uh, again they are cabled via 6mm automotive cables um, and by the way the um, the Anderson plug connected to the car start battery is cabled with 6 AWG cable this is the uh, Tyndall solar 330 watt solar panel it is uh, secured um, to a timber frame that is cantilevered uh, the frame is braced to my um, balustrading as you can see solar panel is supported by this structure um, which is cantilevered braced to my um, side of my decking the cantilever ends are not screwed in um, they are cut and notched so that they fit um, the timber that makes it easy for me to remove the same thing at this end they're not screwed in they're just notched uh, so that they fit securely and snugly the under the solar panel is secured on the underside by M8 bolts there are two bolts on each side so there's a total of four M8 bolts securing the aluminium frame of the panel the solar cable is covered with a split loom to protect it and uh, it goes down the side of my decking this is the um, cabling on the underside of the solar panel so that's the MC4 connector with the PV1-F 6mm squared um, solar cable um, here I've got an inline fuse um, fitting net to uh, protect the circuit That's a solar cable, comes in through a conduit Then it's covered by a split loom That's a 240 volt AC extension cord uh, That's a 12 volt power, so power cable for my ceiling lights, LED ceiling light So we come back to um, the solar cable goes here to the back of the uh, Anadrive charging system by the way that's an SV350 um, Anderson plug it connects my lithium ion phosphate battery um, to the um, Anadrive charging system and those are double zero battery start cables come to the other side of the uh, system and the solar cable comes through here and there you see a label for it 330 watt solar panel and it plugs into this uh, sb50 anderson plug those are six awg cables and those cables go to the uh, anadrive charging system this is the front of the uh, Anadrive Adventure charging system. So we have a 2 kilowatt inverter which has a RCD switch. Um, that's the EPRO Plus um, battery meter. That is a dual USB socket 
there is a merit plug socket so there are eight circuit breakers with different um, fuse ratings circuit breakers uh, and um, four of those eight circuit breakers are switched so you got one two three four and I've uh, wired them so that that's switch one switch two switch three switch four this cigarette and USB 15 amp circuit breaker I've wired it so that it um, powering these two devices these two sockets uh, this cigarette and merit circuit breaker 15 amp I've wired it so that is connected to this um, two sockets This dual USB circuit breaker 5 amps, I've wired it so that it is connected to these two USB sockets. If we look at the side, again that's the um, 2 kilowatt inverter, that's the DC to DC charger, you see that it's showing the charge status uh, given that the solar panel is connected to it so at the moment the battery is uh, showing that it's full capacity 13.5 volts and the uh, solar panels are providing 14.4 amps charge current that's the um, AC to DC charger when I do connect this to a 240 volt AC power supply uh, there is a 200 amp resettable circuit breaker that allows me to turn on the battery connection to the inverter there is a 120 amp circuit breaker that allows me to turn on the connection from the battery to these uh, devices as well as to all the other loads So the um, SB50 Anderson connectors, I've labeled them. Uh, that one's switch one, switch two, switch three, switch four. Uh, this is, um, I label it for fridge, but um, at the moment I'm connecting my ceiling lights uh, to this. That's what it looks like. Um, just a simple plywood. Screw the um, sockets and plugs to it. That's the Anderson plug connector uh, for me to connect to the uh, car start battery. Uh, six AWG cables. So this is when I've uh, I removed this entire system and put it into a the back of my youth. This is a Kel 12 volt 240 amp hour battery. It has a 250 amp um, battery management system uh, made by Daily Electronics. I've just put um, these uh, rubber belt on the side um, with and punch holes on it so that it provides some um, impact resistance protection as well as the holes still allow it to um, exchange uh, heat uh, some heat transfer to the atmosphere and cool properly All right, I'm sure you want to take a look at the inside of the Anadrive Adventurer. So here it is. I've taken off the side panels for you. So if you look to the side firstly, there's a uh, massive bus bar connecting the um, two resettable circuit breakers the 200 amp and 120 amp 
there say shut allowing um, the measurement of current draw just um, put it to one side there's the um, fuses to the um, power positive circuits to the loads that's to the circuit breakers and switches those are the 6 mil auto cables I hope you found this uh, interesting.